Hello everyone, welcome to HJ Programming Solutions. So in today's video, we are going to see what is the difference between hash map, linked hash map and tree map. Okay, so let's start with the video. Very first, let's create here one uh, hash map. Okay, so very first, let's create the main method and inside the main method, let's create the hash map. Okay, so when we use the hash map, when you want to store a key value pair, okay as a single entity in a collection that time we can use the hash map okay so how to create the hash map we can write hash map and here you have to provide which type of key and values you want to insert in your hash map okay so let's suppose here i want to create the hash map where the key will be of type integer and value will be of type string okay let's give the name as a hash map and here we can create new hash map okay so whenever you are writing this way then one empty hash map will get created with the default default capacity as a 16 and default load factor will be 0 0.75 percent okay now let's add some values or let's add some entries in a hash map and how to insert the entries in a hash map we have hash map dot put method inside the put method first you need to pass the key and after that you have to pass the value let's suppose here i want to pass a key as a one okay and value as a one in the string okay let's add some more entries so hash map dot put and here i want to pass 10 okay and here 10 in the string okay let's add some more so hash map dot put we can add 2 and here maybe 2 okay after that uh, hash map dot put and here we can add maybe 7 here also 7 okay so now in our hash map we have added four entries okay now if i just print the hash map here how to print it just you can write system dot out dot print ln and pass the hash map here if we save right click and execute this program then you will see four entries see here first one two seven and ten okay but if you pay attention you can see that very first we have added the value 1 after that 10 then 2 and 7 but in the output you are not getting the output in a same order or in a same sequence right because in the hash map in which order you will get the output that is not because in a hash map the insertion order is not preserved right so even if now you are getting the output like first 1 2 7 10 then after some time if you execute the program then maybe the output can change okay so here you can't predict the output in the hash map okay now one more thing about the hash map is that you can insert the null as a key and value okay so let's suppose if i put here a null as a key and let's suppose null as a value okay then it is perfectly fine in the hash map if i save and execute the program again you will see that here one more entry with the key as a null and value as a null see here okay now this is about hash map where you can't predict the output okay now let's create the linked hash map okay so let me create here linked hash map very simple way you have to use linked hash map class and here also we will be writing same key as a integer and value as a string okay here you can give any name and then we can create new linked hash map okay after this i want to insert the same values whatever we have inserted here okay so let's just copy this and paste here and instead of hash map let's write here linked hash map okay now what we did here we just created one linked hash map and inside the linked hash map i have inserted the same values 
okay now what is the difference between hash map and linked hash map so in the hash map you can't predict the output right maybe if you run the program now then you will get some different output after some time that output may get changed okay because here the insertion order is not preserved but when you have the requirement where you want to store the key value pair okay but you want to preserve the insertion order that time we can use linked hash map okay now if you see here let's just print the linked hash map so s out and we can write here linked hash map okay and let's just print that linked hash map and same way here also we will be printing the hash map okay so let's just write here uh, this one the hash map okay and we need to just see the difference between these two outputs okay let's just execute the program see here in the hash map when you execute the program that time the output is first null insertion after that 1 2 7 and 10 okay now if you see in the linked hash map we have inserted first the value 1 after that 10 2 7 and null and in the output also you are getting the output in a same sequence whatever sequence you have inserted the value in the same sequence you will get the output here first you have inserted 1 that's the reason you are getting 1 then 10 after that 2 then you have inserted 7 so here you are getting 7 and after that null okay so in the linked hash map the insertion order will be preserved okay even if you run the program again and again you will get the same output for the linked hash map but for the hash map we can't predict okay now this is the difference between hash map and linked hash map otherwise everything is same okay now let's go ahead and understand what is the tree map then okay so very first let's create the tree map okay so how to create it we have the tree map class so tree map where we will be storing integer as a key and string as a value let's give the name as a tree map and here we can create the tree map okay now inside the tree map also let's insert the same values okay so let me copy this and paste here instead of linked hash map we need to pop we need to paste here the this one the tree map okay so now what i did i just created one tree map and inside the tree map also i have kept value 1 10 2 and 7 okay so see hash map is used to store the key value pair but there the insertion order is not preserved then we have the linked hash map where in whatever sequence you are inserting the element in the same sequence you can iterate it and you will get the output in the same sequence now when we are using the tree map that time the natural sorting order will happen okay so even if you are uh, you are inserting the element let's suppose 1 10 2 7 okay still you will get the output in a natural sorting order means here you will get the output 1 2 7 and 10 okay so for the natural sorting order you can use a tree map even if you want your own custom sorting order then that is also possible for that you need to use the comparator and you have to pass here while creation of tree map itself okay if you are not passing any comparator here then by default the natural sorting order uh, will be happen okay and you will get the output in a natural sorting order okay so that is the thing about the tree map and one more thing is that in a tree map the null insertion is not allowed you ca you cannot insert the null key if i save and execute it you will get the null pointer exception here see here you are getting null pointer exception and why you are getting this null pointer exception because in the tree map the null insertion of key is not allowed okay so instead of this if you just insert maybe 9 if we save 
and execute it again let's see are we getting the output or not see here so the point is that you can insert the null as a value but you will not able to insert the null as a key in the tree map okay now let's just print here this tree map so s out tree map and here i will write the tree map okay if i save and execute the program see here the difference in the output very first for the hash map you can't predict the output okay it may be in any sequence for the linked hash map in whatever order you have inserted the element in the same order or in the same sequence you will get the output for the tree map always the natural sorting order will happen that's the reason you are getting first one then two then seven then nine and then ten okay and one more thing about the tree map is that you will not able to insert the null as a key in the tree map okay so these are the major differences between the hash map linked hash map and tree map okay okay so that's it for today's video if you like it please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you